Hi guys, welcome back to Sar Soaps. If we haven't met, my name is Lana. Today I'm redoing the high boy and I'm doing a little bit different things today. I'm trying to be inspired by so I went on anthropology website and was just browsing and then I found some beautiful dresser but believe me the price was almost 1500 so I decided to make my own version of that it was inspired it was inspiration for me uh, just to look at this dresser so I used the uh, uh, paper clay to create all design and uh, I used uh, for the most part I used the bears uh, chalk paint let's see what's happened and let me just quickly show you what exactly inspired me this particular dresser it's a tree uh, drawer dresser but as you see it has nice wooden decoration on that so I'm recreating this with the uh, paper clay And as always, we're gonna start with fixing some areas. Unfortunately, I don't get used furniture in a immaculate and perfect condition. It's always something there, but that's where's the fun. So you can sand it some air, you can feel it some air, you can change some things, and uh, that's exactly what I'm doing now. Just sanding and cleaning and preparing my piece just to paint first before any other fun starts so first i'm trying to smooth out some edges some corners was broken so i'm trying to make them a little bit smoother and then also some legs have been chewed i guess you know some hungry dog but i'm just trying to make everything looks a little bit smoother before i apply the potty Using a wood filler, uh, I like to smooth all the edges. What's cool about this wood filler, uh, wood filler, wood filler, when it's wet, it's pink, but when it dries, it becomes that just uh, tan color. And this one is also you can stain if you need to. And as you see, when it dries, it becomes that natural tan color. So now it's perfect time for sanding and smooth out the edges completely. After everything was dry and sanded, I washed my um, project uh, with TSP um, solution and rinse off with clear water. I didn't record it because it would be even now it's a long video so make sure you wash it and prepare very nicely uh, for your paint to stick to your furniture. So first because it's um, not necessarily wood and I want to make sure my paint uh, holds very well I'm priming um, everything with um, uh, shellac based uh, primer and because this shellac is uh, not shellac because it's uh, for this primer is a shellac base it's really smells bad so you really need to use it uh, outside or very uh, well ventilated area I also recommend to even to use some respirator I didn't use it but my mistake um, 
also another advice uh, because it's oil based uh, it will be hard to wash any of your brushes or any of your rollers so i using a very cheap one so if i need to throw it away after use it's not so much expense also learn if you need to save a little bit you can put after you use your rollers and after you use your uh, brush after this primer you can put in a ziploc bag and store it in the refrigerator and you can stretch it for extra one more project at least also don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit that bell button and also give me a thumbs up After my primer, huh, primer, after my primer dried, uh, time to uh, apply some paint. I'm using um, Bear's uh, chalk paint. The beauty of it, you can actually pick any color um, uh, you, and they will mix it for you. I did end up choosing whatever palette they have for uh, chalk paints, whatever uh, ver variety of um, color choices. So this high boy separates in two pieces, the top and the bottom. So what I'm doing, I am choosing two different colors. So the top will be white and the bottom will be bluish. Exact uh, colors and name of that, I will link in the description bottom below. And if you need to see exactly the names of that, you can uh, just go and check there. So for the bottom section, I'm using uh the name of the color gosh i don't know even if i gonna pronounce it correctly i think it's called uh, jinham so again description will be at the bottom below so you can see what exactly color name i'm using here this is not my first time using bare uh, chalk paint honestly i do like this color because it's uh, smooth it's self-leveling the coverage is pretty good, at least in my opinion. Um, I only had to give two coats for this blue and uh, I gave also two coats for the white with an exception I had to go over in a few areas and just touch up a little bit of here or there. But remember, I had already primer on, so the dark spots was already covered. Original furniture was a paint covered, so it was um, easy peasy. Now it's time to cover the top section. I'm using farmhouse white for the top. Also, I will uh, mention about the brush choices. It depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for smooth finish, make sure you choose the brush with synthetic bristles. If you like a little bit more textured seeing, you wanna see a little bit more of a brush strokes, I would go with natural bristles. So now after paint is dries, and that's where the fun begins. So now I can apply paper clay. I have different, several different molds that I will create um, as I go. It's not necessarily knowing what to put and how to put it. Just um, make molds and see how they fit and then and, and just create the beautiful scene i guess you know it's more like a flowers and vines you know you can uh, get any kind of a different uh, uh varieties of that this is my interpretation of what i saw there and yes process is very tedious i'm not gonna lie to you if you don't have a patience maybe this is not for you but i do enjoy i do enjoy work like this um, where you little by little, piece by piece, it's almost like a puzzling together. You're trying to figure out what to put here and what to put there and how to connect. 
some of the pieces was very very flimsy and I was I was frustrating here and there but um, I just was keep going and slow leaf by leaf flower by flower and using a little bit of wood glue and then just glue the pieces on the furniture and see in the front of my eyes how it's come all together And I do have another tip for you guys. If you feel your mold is not coming out easily, you can sprinkle a little bit of cornstarch, but um, make sure you just dust it off because it's really don't need to be a lot of there. Uh, I usually would sprinkle a little bit and then just shake it off the excess. It really helped out. The bottom section is done, look how pretty it looks. It did took me several hours to do, but I was in my zone, I forgot about everything, and was just enjoying to create this beautiful piece. Now it's time to go for the top. Okay, so my initial plan was uh, create a white top and blue bottom, but then uh, I decided to give it ex extra little bit and uh, using the bottom drawer area to blend it blue and connect all together. So it's another blending top. Another way to realize if you want to change something or you decide something is not going the right way for you, you see it, this is the point where I wanted to prove. You can always change. You can always go back or add something more. It's just a pain. Just pick up the brush and change something. And so when the clay dries, I wanted to be a contrast uh, from, from the blue. So I add white paint on all the applications on the design part. And after that dry, I went back with the blue and clean the edges and uh, fill in the areas where it's white doesn't belong anymore.
this is my blending uh, drawer. So the top is white, the bottom is blue. And then you will take a neutral brush without any paint on it. Make sure you have a mister bottle, just spray it and blend it side to side, a little bit up and down. Just add a little bit of color here and there until you're satisfied with your blending. Make sure you spray because if the paint is start drying, you will see some dragging colors and some lifting. So don't overwork either. Just blend enough. The best, just walk away, let it dry and come back again and re-blend it again. Everything is dried and now it's time to apply some protection. I really enjoy spraying my top coats. I'm using Paula Acrylic and it's so easy, at least in my opinion, it's so easy to spray it. It takes no time at all. Sometimes I feel you spend more time on cleaning than on spraying, but it gives you very nice even coat it's a light coat nothing is dr if you adjust your spray because you could you could screw it up there too and it start dripping but you make sure you test your spray gun um, on something to make sure it's spraying enough and after that it's just like this one two three and it's done easy peasy done done after top coat is dry uh, we're back at home so yes I have to bring my furniture back and forth back and forth because honestly I don't have a room in the garage I have so much furniture but that's okay summer is coming and we're gonna work very hard but so now it's time to um, draw uh, draw drill a new holes for uh, hardware because I'm using something different. I wasn't sure um, before I start working on this. I wasn't sure which exactly I'm gonna do it. That's why I cover existing uh, holes. And now it's time to drill a new one. So what I did, first I put all the tapes there and mark where my holes needs to be for the, this new hardware. And this way it was easier. I just didn't have to stop much. I just went from one drawer to another and hole to hole and was a quick fix. And of course, do you think we're not gonna use some gilding box? Come on, gold, it's always to bring everything together give enough shine so i'm using uh king's uh, gilding wax in my opinion it's the best color combination um it's of gold it's um it's gold and it's slightly warm so it's not that completely just yellow shiny i like this one much better so king's uh gilding box i think it's pbo 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 um again everything is gonna be in the description box below uh so you can check that but i think it's gonna be beautiful to give the accent to all the edges and the flowers 
just touch um, um, petals um, on, on outer edges of petals and uh, in the center part it's just gonna uh, make them more pop so fingers getting dirty come on I always start with a brush my intention is be to be careful and good so I start with a brush and then I forget that it is an oil-based product so it is toxic if you're not using your gloves so you need to use some protection but I'm guilty of it I just go with the fingers because it's like I can feel it better and it's faster and it just rubs on and nice and quick And the flowers and then the stems and the petals are just uh, touch the edges a little bit so any high points will catch on that gilding wax and bring all this uh, to life it's gonna be more um, out and it just beautiful So at first I thought I'm gonna put some um, black hardware but the more and more I'm looking because everything is so light I felt the black it was just too too harsh so I got some metallic um, spray paint and I spread, uh, sprayed my hardware I sprayed them in metallic gold After adding my hardware, I realized my gilding box <clears throat> and my uh, gold on my <clears throat> excuse me and the gold on my uh, hardware is completely two different colors. And because I didn't like exactly the way the gold on the hardware looked, I just um, f for me it was easy solution just to go over with a little bit more of gilding wax the same gilding wax that i use on the flowers and on the edges so i just brushed it a little bit and it's all pulled together and looks great And just like that, another project is done. So I just uh, wanna share this. It's as my interpretation that I was inspired by looking at different sites and different furniture and different artists, what they do. Um, let me know, what do you think? Did you like it? Maybe you have some suggestion for other color combination or other way of doing it or anything. And if you want to see more pictures of this makeover, don't forget to follow me on Facebook or Instagram. And again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that um, bell 
for notification when my videos coming until next time bye bye